Hello again, the practitioner here, bachelor of science student, magician, agnostic, what can I say? Anyway, uh, I just watched the very first of the video responses on your video, uh, uh, um, to your video, where one Wiccan actually says that it's about a belief in the earth and not about uh, hippie and veganism and goth and all that. You see my point? They're already defending their own religious views purely because of the fact that you used a straw man attack. And the thing is that... It, and again, if it's meant in humor and in jest, that's all well and good. But if you're trying to use it as a means of refuting Wicker or trying to get people out, they're going to, you know, it'll only cause them to revert further back in. And it'll weaken our position about trying to get them to a rational viewpoint and out of superstitious mindsets or out of religious mindsets. See what I mean? Okay, I will try to put it succinctly in a way without being offensive. Bottom line, Captain Awesome, we don't need your. We don't need shenanigans like uh, like this. It, uh, we don't need shenanigans like this. Are you going off like a loose cannon, um, or apparently going off like a loose cannon? Um, again, unless of course you clearly state that it is humor. Uh, when the bulk of us are trying to maintain logical arguments to try to uh, to try to fight people um, out of, you know, out of their viewpoints. I mean, uh, one of the uh, I agree. For example. Uh, on another completely different note, um, for example, I know, um, you know, I've noticed that you're, uh, it's actually quite funny. The techniques, uh, you know, I, I agree with you. Your jokes are, uh, you know, about Christianity are funny for the most part. However, um, sometimes, particularly for the fundamentalist element, they only start re reviling against science even more so because of this loose can of stuff. Now, in my case, I did manage to find a little tactic to get Pentecostals around in the theory of evolution by arguing a case for it from within their own scripture. It drove them crazy, but it got a few of them around. Actually, I got quite a few of them around. Uh, the last, uh, roughly eight out of ten people, I got, uh, eight out of ten Pentecostals, I presented the case for evolution from their own scripture for. It got them around to evolutionary theory, and it wasn't too hard to wean them off uh, religion afterwards. You know, it was a lot easier. But that's my point. I digress. The bottom line is, we don't, you know, your humor may be funny. It may be, you know, it, it, it's certainly good for a laugh. But in the process of actually trying to debunk religion, it doesn't have a good place. You know, it's, it, it, it's, you know, it, uh, it's, you know, wrong place, wrong time for it. And, um, again, if you check some of my other videos, you'll see that my concerns about critical, about the lack of critical thinking in society that, you know, given the evidence there may apparently, that may be more so on the rise. So, um, and again, if there, if this sort of, uh, similar mentality, um, is going clean across the board, then, um, you know, all we'll have is we'll just simply have one group fighting against another again um, with very little in the way of actual headway towards the truth being made, i.e., you know, towards science or towards true logic. I mean, we know what happened the last time two groups uh, fought. Uh, the, the Protestant Catholic Reformation uh, wars were a prominent example of this in history. We don't, you know, we need to be careful about, uh, we need to be careful when we're trying to deal with debunking of religion and humor such as yours, although funny, does not have a place here. So if you could make something a little bit more explicit in your videos, if uh, again, if, if it's all just meant in good fun and you're just um, and you're just meaning it just for a laugh, could you please uh, rather, not only just putting humor in your summary, uh, sorry, in your tags, but could you also put something in your summaries saying, uh, you know, call it for the call it if you will call it for the idiot quotient, call it for the idiot quotient who might take offense. Put something in there saying. Uh, you know, but BTW, this is a joke. This is meant in fun. You know, something really simple like that to get, you know. And I mean, if, you know, I mean, I know you're doing it to debunk, but the thing is that, you know, if you're doing it for a serious argument, it's not useful. If you're doing it just for good laugh, put it in there for the idiot question. So this way, um, uh, so this way the actual position of the atheist movement when we're trying to deal, uh, deal with religions isn't so weakened. Uh, I'm not again. I'm not trying to amend your speech or anything here. I'm just simply trying to say, like, listen, you know, just please try to help the rest of us out here, okay? Thanks. Uh, otherwise, keep it up. Toodles.